If we don't have enough nurses that are able to be fully present with those patients, it can sacrifice the safety of the patients as well as that quality care. Right now it is Nurse Appreciation Week and as we thank these healthcare heroes, we are also diving into the issue. We're looking at a critical nursing shortage all across the country right now. 11 Alive's Liza Lucas is with us this morning with a brand new story. Liza, this new study you looked at shows the next generation of nurses. These numbers are dangerously low. That's right. For the first time in 20 years, the number of students training to become registered nurses actually dropped. That could further impact the shortage and ultimately patient care. But I had a chance to go up to KSU and learn how their university is working to counter those numbers. Emily Tate is prepared, precise, and ready for patients. We really just like to help take care of people. Emily always wanted to be a nurse, but it was the moment she was a patient herself in labor with her baby girl that a Kennesaw State nursing student told her about the university's nursing program. And of course I was having a baby and like not in the place right then and there to go to nursing school, but it started the wheels turning. Fast forward, Emily's now graduating from KSU's School of Nursing, joining the workforce in a time of great need for the industry. This is probably the largest gap that I have seen between the, the demand and the supply for nurses. Adding to the concern, new data from the American Association of Colleges of Nursing shows national enrollment in nursing programs is down. Despite that decline, nursing schools also turned away 78,000 qualified applications last year due to a lack of faculty or clinical sites to train students. We must be proactive, we must embrace this challenge and do things to counter this, to mitigate that shortage. Unlike national numbers, KSU nursing is not seeing the same decline, instead working to double its enrollment. Due to some grants, we've been able to expand our space here. We've been able to buy more high-tech equipment. We've been able to hire more faculty and staff. Leaders say the additional resources are critical for training more future nurses. Students like Emily, who is excited to launch her career in labor and delivery, helping new mothers just like her nurses helped her. I know how vulnerable and scared you are in labor and delivery, and I just wanna, wanna help guide women through that, that transition. So Liza, we see what the schools are doing here to combat this issue, but there's also been some action on the state level too, right? Yeah, a huge conversation has been happening. Not enough having enough faculty to prepare younger nurses. That has long been an obstacle for programs across the country. Here in Georgia, a Senate bill signed by Governor Kemp will actually help college nursing instructors repay their student loans. Now that is just one more way that advocates hope to keep and train nurses and the faculty and really address the shortage here in the state. Cheryl. All right, Liza, thanks a lot.